Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Hello, I'm Dan Armendaris, a TA for Computer Science E1. You're watching one of our videos of the week. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about web-based applications. So up until now, we've introduced you to XHTML, CSS, various other web-based technologies. Now how can we add all of this together to create some great web-based applications? Well, that you kind of actually have to figure out a little bit on your own. But in this video, I'll give you a few examples to show what web-based applications can do with some of the technologies that we've shown you. Primarily, most of these applications will be created with what's called AJAX, or Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. This is a combination of JavaScript, XML, HTTP request object, CSS, and some other things to dynamically show you a web page. Now this is some pretty powerful stuff, but really, a lot of this technology isn't that new. In fact, this technology has been around for a long time. AJAX is just a buzzword. Microsoft considered using their own equivalent standard and naming it Atlas. You may notice, though, that uh, while Ajax was a Greek hero, Atlas was a Greek titan. Anyway, let's take a look at some examples. Google has a number of Ajax applications that we can take a look at. Google Docs, Google Calendar, Google Maps, Google Mail, all of these are Ajax-based applications. So let's take a look at some of them. Google Docs, you just go to docs.google.com log in with your Google account. From here you can create a new spreadsheet or even open an existing spreadsheet, maybe an Excel file. But it gets even a little more powerful than this because you can create a spreadsheet and share it with other people that have a Google account. Then collectively you can collaborate on this particular spreadsheet, modify it at the same time, and even as part of the browser window chat about it and discuss whether you need to make changes here or there, or whatever, what have you. Another thing that docs can do is create text-based documents. So you can open up Word files and even save Word files using Google Docs. Moving along, go to the Google Calendar. From here, you can actually organize your life. You can put all of your appointments, what have you, online. And that way, you have a central place that you can check your calendar. Now, the neat thing about Google Calendar is that you can share these calendars with your friends so that if you have a popular thing, for example, if you have maybe a conference room that you share between friends, you can schedule times on that particular calendar and see when everybody is using it. Now, you may say, now, what is so great about this? Why would I want to use Google to do these things rather than Microsoft Office, Microsoft Outlook? Well, the power is that you can do all of this in a web browser. So from any computer that you have internet access, you can actually access all of this information that you've created on Google Docs, Google Spreadsheets, Google Calendar, and be able to modify it and edit it to your heart's content. So let's move away from Google a little bit and show you an example outside. There is a web page called protopage.com. And by going to this, it actually shows you a mini desktop of sorts, where you can add web clippings, you can add mini widgets even, uh, you can have the weather, comics, uh, URLs. It's basically a place where you can collect a lot of your information and always have access to it, no matter which computer you are accessing it from, as long as it has internet access, of course. One final example of an Ajax web-based application is Ajax 13. Try it out at us.ajax13.com. They actually have several applications for you to try out. Ajax Writes, which is similar to Google Docs, Ajax Sketch, this one's pretty neat. Ajax XLS, uh, which is a spreadsheet application, Ajax Presents, and Ajax Tunes. Using Ajax Sketch, you can actually create simple sketches right in your web browser. Take a look at some of the other ones, just have fun. Well, this has been a video of the week. My name is Dan Armdaris. Thank you for watching.
And we're back. You can create a spreadsheet and share it with other people that have Gmail accounts. Or, oh, no. Okay. So from any computer that you have internet access to, wait, that you have internet that to from which you have, from which you have internet access. Huh. Okay. Then you can see that you can just, uh, or you can see that you can simply create, you know, <sighs> using Ajax Sketch, you can create some simple um, images and sketches. Okay. okay. Using Ajax, oh gosh. Using Ajax Sketch, you can actually create simple, well, sketches. Dress. Oh. No. Stop it. 